The VMT Atlant stands as one of aviation history's most unusual transport aircraft, born from the ambitious Soviet space program. This extraordinary machine emerged when the USSR faced a critical challenge, transporting massive Energia rocket and Buran space shuttle components to Baikonur Cosmodrome. The aircraft's story begins in 1976 with the Energia Buran program decree. By 1978, Vladimir Myashishchev's bureau tackled the transportation problem. Engineers faced a dramatic scale mismatch. Energia fuel tanks measured 8 meters in diameter, while the M4 bomber's fuselage was only 3 meters wide. The team chose external cargo mounting over internal redesign due to time constraints. This decision required radical modifications to the M4 bomber, creating the 3MT project. The transformation involved replacing the tail with a distinctive twin tail configuration featuring large rectangular end plates. Engineers extended the fuselage by 4.7 meters and replaced the swept stabilizer with a straight design having 26% greater area to compensate for reduced speeds. The structure required significant reinforcement. Wing sections became three spar constructions, the bomb bay was sealed, and all military equipment removed. Two M4 bombers underwent conversion at the experimental machine building plant. Aircraft Fortson 2 flew first on April 29, 1981, enabling cargo missions to Baikonur by April 1982. The VMT transported four configurations, 0GT, Buran Orbiter, 50 plus tons, 1GT, Energia Hydrogen Tank, 40 meters long, 2GT, Nose Fairing and Oxygen Tank, and 3GT, Returnable Fairings. During 1983 testing, aircraft WIFT-102 suffered a landing accident when crosswind conditions caused runway departure, requiring repairs until November. Both VMT aircraft served from 1982 to 1989, completing approximately 150 flights. They transported Energia components and Buran orbiters, supporting the successful October 15, 1988 unmanned Buran orbital mission before the program ended due to political changes. The VMT retained four Michelin AM3D engines, producing 8,750 kilograms thrust each. Maximum takeoff weight reached 210 tons with cargo, maintaining 12,000 meter service ceiling and 2,500 kilometer range. The twin tail provided directional control despite massive cargo disrupting airflow. The Antonov An-225 Maria replaced the VMT fleet in 1989 with superior capacity. Today, one VMT survives at Zhukovsky's Gromov Flight Research Institute as a static display, appearing at MAX 2013 after restoration. The second aircraft remains at Diaghilevo Air Base in deteriorated condition. The VMT Atlant validated external cargo mounting concepts, directly influencing AN-225 development. This remarkable aircraft demonstrates Soviet engineering ingenuity in adapting existing designs for unprecedented aerospace challenges.